Hello, welcome or welcome back to this quite marvelous lesson that everybody should know or practice at least once in a while. I won't say too much at the beginning, now just I will write a little bit for my patrons on Patreon in regard to this lesson and let's get right into it. What you will need is quite a bit of floor space today, comfy floor space and on one pillow. Okay, and we will start in side lying. So please come to lie on your left side. And you can lie down on your left arm if you're comfortable with that or just rest your <laughs> the left side of your face on the floor or on the pillow. Whatever is most comfortable to you. And just take a moment, as most always, to arrive at the floor, to sink to the floor, to feel, ah, okay, my head is resting comfortably, so that problem is solved. And the shoulder, shoulder seems to be fine. Find a nice little cave, a little spot where you can place your arm. So it disappears in your awareness. It's just comfy and you're lying on your left side, so you can feel where you touch the floor with your rib cage. Yes, under the armpit, maybe not so much, but then in the middle of your chest, if you imagine your chest, it's like a, it has a shape, and uh, maybe the middle of this shape is touching the floor, and then at your waist, maybe a little bit too, not so much, and on your hip and your legs, maybe put your legs on top of each other. Or you could put your legs behind or in front of each other. And wait a little bit until your breath becomes even and you can feel maybe your heartbeat. A little bit or not and you're just on your left side. And waiting for me to command, commence to get on with the lesson. So what will I say? What will Alphonse say to you? What will we do first? And I hinted at the first movement already. So please feel where you have contact with the floor, with the left side of your chest. And when you breathe in, you can notice that your chest expands and pushes a little bit more against the floor. So this video and the last two videos one was lying on the back and one was lying on the front and now we're lying on the side and pushing against the floor. So feel, where is that? At the height of your chest bone or the middle of your back. And on the left side you're touching the floor and you're pressing against the floor or you're leaning against the floor. If you do nothing you're just leaning against the floor. The other way, the floor is supporting you. You can feel yourself because you can feel the floor on your left side, in your chest. And the first movement, the first movement is to press a little bit more against the floor. Here again, it rhymes very nicely. So press a little bit more with your left side against the floor. How, how would you even do this? Do that? How do you create pressure against the floor on your left side. How do you lean more against the floor? So you can do this a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit less. You can work with your breath. Maybe you need to work with your right shoulder or with your hip. Or maybe you don't do anything, you just lie there and you wait for your marvelous nervous system to the ingeniousness of your of yourself to solve this problem for you to lean a little bit more against the floor with your left side And allow yourself to build up maybe a little bit of confidence. <laughs> Let your confidence in yourself grow. Find this, uh, this inner creativity. 
unleash your inner creative self. How do you press against the floor with your with the ribs of your left side? Is it which rib? Can you feel the individual ribs a little bit where you press more? And the more you lean and the more you press, maybe you noticed your head will come up because you're rounding yourself in this banana shape. <laughs> so when a banana, when you <laughs> set up a banana on the table to <laughs> To, to, to stand with both edges up, with both ends up, yes, so the middle of your chest is the middle of the banana and your head end comes up when you press down, right? So try to find this movement, allow yourself, allow your nervous system to find this movement for you, to press down with the middle of your chest, well, we can help a little bit. So if you, if you can, if you will, reach with your right hand around your head to your left ear. So with your, you can pull your ear gently, or you can just place your hand on the left side of your face, your left temple, somewhere, your left neck, the left side of your neck, and pull your, what do you think, your, maybe your right elbow. So pull your right elbow towards your, the right side of your hip or your right pocket and thus help the head lift and thus you can feel you press down on the floor with your left side a little bit more. <laughs> or you can close the contact with the right upper arm to your right ear and really reach around if you, if you can, if that is available to you and help the head lift after you press down with your left side to the floor. So the pressing down comes first and then the lifting of the head with or without arm. Or you could reach with your right hand towards your feet, downwards towards your feet. So first press with the left side against the floor, then the right hand reaches. And if you do this gently enough, if you give yourself time, allow yourself the luxury of feeling yourself, of sensing the, what comes first and what comes next. And when you do this, then this happens. So, the, so you press with your left side against the floor and then maybe your head st starts to become lighter and then you reach down with your right hand towards your feet and up comes the head. <laughs> yes, so the head lifts because you press down with your chest more on the floor on the left side. How about the hip? When we, how can we incorporate the hip? Because the other side of the banana, the other end of the banana, so the hip can, can help or the hip can react just the same way like your head, but the hip can't come up because of the legs, but oh, maybe one leg can come up. Or maybe both legs can come up when you press with your left side against the floor, maybe the head comes with one end of the banana, and then the, the other end might be your, your right leg or your left leg. All of it might come up when you press with your left side against the floor. But don't overdo it, just a little exploration. What can happen when you press down with your left side against the floor? We want to feel the floor. We want to feel our left side, we want to feel ourselves, how we react to this pressing. So we cannot just, we can press with the hands against the floor and with the feet against the floor, but also with other body parts, for example, with the left side of the chest. And if you need to, like I, right now, I need this, I need a little break, so just Take a rest on your left side and allow yourself, if you want, to not press and not do anything, not even listen to me. <laughs> Just take a little, a little break.
So when you press with your, we continue, when you press with your left side against the floor and the head comes up, the eyes have a, a kind of, our nervous system has a kind of a tendency to bring the eyes level to the horizon in a healthy nervous system, in a healthy human. So, so let's help with that. So prop yourself up onto your left elbow. So come into this relaxed position on your left side. If your left elbow, your left shoulder is up for that, just be on your left elbow in, in side, what is it? Side, upright side lying <laughs> propped up on your left elbow. And if you have a cushion, put the cushion underneath in, in this little cave that is formed by your arm and your hips. So in between goes the pillow and then lean with your left side against the pillow. So see if you can lean with your left side against the pillow more and less. And it's not just about leaning against the pillow, but how you react to it overall. So when you lean more, you can feel your, your hip moving, your hip tilting towards where rolling. Your hip is rolling towards the pillow. Like it was, like it would be a, a ball rolling upwards towards the pillow when you press with your left side against the pillow. And at the same time, your eyes come, of course, a little bit more towards the horizon because the banana shape, <laughs> banana cannot change its curve, but we can, we can become more <laughs> like a fern <laughs> when we talk plant-based. So a couple of times come really to go into this curve of lengthening the left side and shortening the right side. Or maybe let's add something to it. Extend your right leg on the, on the floor. So same position propped up on the left elbow, right leg extended and look at your right foot. So very long, far away your right foot and push down with the right foot even more. So when you push your right foot away downwards on the floor, what happens with the left side? So your left side comes away from the pillow. And when you draw up your right foot towards your head, but keep your right leg long, so you always keep the right leg long, but you push your right foot down and you pull it up. So that only works with your left side becoming longer and shorter, becoming more a banana and less a banana. <laughs> so try that a couple of times. Maybe I should call this banana lesson or something. <laughs> Side bending to the left, pushing against the pillow. And then it's time. You have this movement. Uh, I will wait a couple of seconds so you can explore it a little bit further. <clears throat> and then we will take a break on the back whenever you're ready. Okay, so. Time for a break on the back. Ay. <laughs> and uh, curious, it's uh, or strangely, so the left side might feel different, more bendy, easier to bend. So something is different on the left side than on the right side because we were working so much with the left side. Of course, the right side was also working, but focus was our focus, our intention, our thinking was on the left side. All right, then return to come to lie on your left side. Just like in the beginning. And after you have been on your left side for a couple of seconds, start to feel the floor on your left side and how you breathe against the floor. See if that feels different. Maybe your chest became a little bit softer actually. And so now the floor feels different because your chest is different. And then press with your left side, start to press with your left side against the floor. And see if that lifts your head 
and tilts your pelvis. Or maybe not so much, or a little, or a little bit more, but focus not on the how, how far you can do it, but on the details, how everything connects. So we want to look at the connections, <laughs> how we connect. Make a connection, we connect the parts in ourselves. So that's the, that's the important thing, not how far you can lift the head or sideband, but how everything works together smoothly and in harmony. And how much you can feel and how much you can feel that your right leg is participating and your breathing is participating and how much you can enjoy yourself in movement and in thinking about movement and in sensing yourself and sensing the different parts of yourself in, in harmony and feeling. It's a strange or a very peculiar way of feeling in balance, in empowered, connected with yourself. When you acknowledge yourself in this way. All right, so, but enough about the left side. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So please come to lie on your right side. And we, we will do the same thing on the right side, nothing uh, new. So just take a moment to arrive on the right side. And then again, with your right side, feel the floor on your right side. And it might feel different. It might feel harder. It might feel softer. There might be, you can, our, both sides are as different as our hands are different and as our feet are different. You can still belong to you, but you might feel there's something different. And then start to press with your right side against the floor on your right side and see how you do that. How, how, do you even, how do you even lean more? How do you even press against the floor? How, how, how can you make that possible to lean more? And maybe if you start to lean more, your head will come up. Your left ear will come closer to your left shoulder. Or maybe your left shoulder will move downwards towards your left hip. Maybe your left hand will reach for the feet. Or if nothing moves, you could reach over with your left hand to your right ear, <laughs> the pulling of the right ear. Come, come, follow. <laughs> we don't do that, we be, be very gentle here. And press first with your right side against the floor so that your head comes up. So maybe you think of your left elbow, the left elbow coming closer to the pocket or your left hip left hip joint and gently lengthen your right side, allow your right side to become long, the left side short, press stronger, press with your right side against the floor. So you press with your right side against the floor and maybe this also causes your left leg to come up or both legs to come up. And we can do the leg thing, the extended leg thing, like before. So prop yourself up on your, if you haven't done already. Um, put the pillow <laughs> in the cave that is formed between your, uh, the bridge that is formed between your right arm and your pelvis and lean more against the pillow or less against the pillow or you could extend your left leg and reach down with your left foot which, which will lift your right side or you can pull your left foot upwards with a straight leg which will depress or push your right side more against the pillow. We could put everything together like reach over with your hand to your with your left hand to your right ear. So how would this work? 
and and the long leg thing. How how would you put everything together? The long leg and the left foot pushing away and pulling closer and your right side more towards the floor or less towards the floor and the left hand pulling on your right ear. <laughs> it's like Sudoku. How do you put everything together? All the what is the winning combination? So think about your right side pressing against the floor, so that's the first thing, or the right side lifting off the floor, and then just feel how everything has to fall into place. So it's not an intellectual challenge, but a challenge of sensing and, and feeling, observing and acknowledging. All right, and if you haven't already, we'll take a break on the back. And feel how you're resting now. How is it to rest now on the back? How you breathe now against the floor? How does your right side feel? compared to your left. So, now we will we will put the last, the last two lessons and this lesson together. And we will start with lying on the left side. So please come to lie on the left side again. So arrive on the left side. So now we, now we will need space. and start to feel the left side on the floor and start to push, lean more against the floor on the left side so that your head comes up and start to roll a little bit backwards and then back on the left side. So start to roll a little bit backwards and back on the left side again more and more until until you're on your back and keep your keep your head up so remember two lessons ago we used our hands like sentinels in the matrix to catch our face <laughs> and to lift the head and to lean with the middle of the back against the floor so this is the end position of this quarter roll and then roll back onto your left side. So the head is always up, so the, the head can look around, but you're rolling from your left side. So you can use your hands to support your head, of course, and roll, roll more onto your back until you're on your back with the head. The head is up, the head can scan around, look around in the room, or back onto the left side, so every time it becomes kind of a smaller movement. You get better at it every time and always take a break in between. <laughs> so allow your head to, to rest, take a little rest, so it should not be a workout. Still an improvement work, not a strengthening and stretching, but of course we will be become more flexible and a little bit stronger also when we are more balanced and better sorted. So again, start by pushing with your left side against the floor. So that has a connection to your legs. So maybe the, the right foot can come up, the right knee can come up. And slowly, 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 how do you even do this? Roll onto the back. 
So you're on your back with your head up and then continue to the other side, to the right side. So continue to roll to the right until you're lying on your right side. On the right side with the head up. Or take a little rest. But then press, press, always start with pressing against the floor with the middle of your <laughs> right side against the floor. The so head can come up and then it's a, uh, an eighth of a roll or a sixteenth of a roll. A little bit forwards and backwards until you're on your back with your head up. So you're leaning against the floor with the middle of your back. Maybe you have your feet up and then <laughs> roll to your left. Yes. Or back to the middle and on to your right. And what seems like a, a big thing in the beginning becomes smaller and smaller and easier and easier. Oops. So <laughs> actually we could we could roll to sitting, but we don't want to roll to sitting. We want to take a break first. Take a break in lying on your back. <laughs> wow, this is quite energizing. Don't you think? And then back onto the left side. And again, we will start with pressing the left side against the floor and this time we will roll forwards. So if you have your legs bent, of course, there's not much rolling forward. So you need to extend your legs a little bit and roll forwards a little bit more and back onto the left side and more and more until you're on your front side. So this was the last video where we started lying on the front side and pressing with the chest against the floor until the head was lifted. So if you need to review that video, please do that. And once you're on your front side, then roll back onto your left side. Always keep the head lifted. <laughs> quite tricky, but quite amazing. Marvelous, isn't it? So how, how do you do this? To roll onto your front side with your head up so the head can look around. The back extensors work and then you <laughs> Roll onto the left side, you press with your left side against the floor. So the side, the muscles on the side, they work. And then you roll onto your back. So it's your front side that works. So you're working your core muscles, your coordination muscles. And this will, amaze, this will be amazing for standing and sitting and walking and running and roll further. <laughs> so be creative. I'm not too structured because this is a homeschooling this is a lesson at home I, I cannot I don't I don't want to control it you need to do you need to do what you think is best for you how is it what's the best way to follow this lesson and to play with these movements so the the rules maybe if you will is to press with your chest against the floor first no matter what is your position and then see how everything else follows and <laughs> what you do with it. Yes, and it's a quite a creative class. So a lot of things can come from this. And if you had back pain, you might feel like maybe it's, <laughs> it's smoothening out for a certain kind of back pain that is tension related or neck pain that when you had a certain kind of tension and this tension might be disappearing now. Yes. <laughs> so either take a break or roll around a little bit more. I will take a break and then we will have uh, the last rest. 
So roll around a little bit more and then come to lie on your back the last time on your back. <laughs> Just to feel how it is now, how you lie now on your back, how that feels, how is your breathing, how do you perceive your legs, your arms, your head, your contact with the floor, how the floor is supporting you, is carrying you, in which places, how much. So I think it's a quite a balanced feeling. Yeah. Active, peaceful feeling. It's funny, I feel this little tingling everywhere. Maybe that's like a, the microcirculation or however you want to explain that. Ah, feels absolutely nice. All right, and then before we fall asleep, we need to end this lesson, <laughs> bring the lesson to an end and come to standing. And how do you do this? And I recommend use your new technique, our new technique to press the middle of the back against the floor, maybe start in, in rolling. Maybe we, can, maybe we can roll ourselves up to stand by pressing the middle of the back against the floor. And then, as always, take a moment just to stand and feel where is your balance, where does everything want to go. You can imagine you can, like when you're still on the floor, you can imagine you press the back against the floor or you press the front against the floor or you press one side. And somewhere, somewhere in all of that is a balanced center, a center that feels light easy, where you feel confident and connected, grounded and yet able to move and to breathe and to be. <laughs> All right, so it was my pleasure to teach this lesson, to present you this lesson. I hope you liked it just as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.